Welcome. We will start with some basic questions and then go in detail. First question: What is current ISO guideline for area classification? The International Organization for Standardization, that is ISO 14644-1, 2015 standard, that is second edition, is the current guideline for classifying air cleanliness in clean rooms and clean zones. Area classification of areas are given in many guidelines but the base of all other guidelines is ISO that is ISO 14644-1. How many ISO clean room classes are there? There are 9 ISO clean room classes from ISO class 1 to ISO class 9. This one is very important and frequently asked question. Question is what is at rest condition and in operation condition as per ISO guideline. First we will see about at rest condition. At rest condition is the condition where the clean room or clean zone is complete with equipment installed and operating in a manner agreed upon but with no personal present. Second condition is in operation condition. This is the agreed condition where the clean room or clean zone functioning in the specified manner with equipment operating and with the specified number of personnel present. The fundamental difference between these two conditions is the presence of personnel. How is air cleanliness tested according to ISO 14644-1? Air cleanliness according to ISO 14644-1 is tested by counting airborne particles using particle counter. This standard specifies the number of particles allowed per cubic meter for different class levels. What are the key parameters monitored in ISO clean rooms? First parameter is airborne particulate concentration. Here we measure the number of particles per cubic meter of air. Second parameter is air flow. Here we monitor the speed and direction of air. Third important parameter is air changes per hour that is ACH. Here we track the number of times the air within the clean room is replaced with filtered air every hour. Which particle sizes are primarily measured in ISO classifications? 0.1 micron, 0.2 micron, 0.3 micron, 0.5 micron, 1 micron and 5 micron particle sizes are commonly measured in ISO area classifications. Microns, also known as micrometers, don't get confused between these two terminologies. This one is the most important question. Question is what is maximum allowable concentration for particles per meter cube in ISO clean rooms? You can refer this table for maximum allowable concentration for particles equal to and greater than the considered sizes as per the ISO guideline. What is definition of clean room as per ISO guideline? Room within which the number concentration of airborne particles is controlled and classified and which is designed, constructed and operated in a manner to control the introduction, generation and retention of particles inside room. How much should be the sampling locations for particle counting as per ISO 14644-1-2015? You can refer below tables for area of clean rooms in meter square against minimum number of sampling locations. What are the sampling location selection requirement as per ISO? Requirement number one, use minimum sampling locations as per table given in guideline that is table number A.1. This is the table that we have seen in last question's answer. Requirement number two, divide the whole clean room or clean zone into sections of equal area. Select within each section a sampling location considered to be representative of the characteristics of section. Requirement number 3. At each location, position the particle counter probe in a plane of work activity or another specified point. Last important fourth requirement is sampling locations may be selected for locations considered critical their number and position shall be agreed and specified. This one is also very commonly asked question. Question is why mostly 0.5 and 5 micron particles are measured for NVPC. Answer is during non-viable particle count we measure only 0.5 and 5 micron particles because 
most of the commonly found bacteria are in the size range of 0.5 to 5 micron so this range is the main source of contamination what are the iso requirements for nvpc that is non viable particle count report first identification second instrumentation which includes particle counter details and calibration status third sampling which includes sampling method air volume sampled duration and flow rate fourth particle data which includes counts for specified sizes concentration per cubic meter fifth compliance sixth conditions like temperature humidity during sampling seventh remark eighth approval and ninth appendices what is basis for determination of the concentration of airborne particles as per iso guideline the use of light scattering that is the discrete airborne particle counters that is lsapc is the basis for the determination of the concentration of airborne particles equal to or greater than the specified sizes at the defined sampling locations what is requirement for test instrument used for particle monitoring as per iso guideline the particle counter shall have a valid calibration certificate the frequency and method of calibration should be based upon current accepted practice as specified in iso 21501-4 what is unidirectional air flow as per iso guideline controlled air flow through the entire cross section of a clean room or clean zone with a steady velocity and air streams that are considered to be parallel is the unidirectional air flow last and very important question what are the alternative guidelines for iso area classification UGMP Annex 1, USP Chapter Number 797, and CGMP for sterile drug products from FDA are the important alternative guidelines for ISO area classification. Although the recommendations given for area classification in all the three guidelines are comparable or in line with the ISO recommendations. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.